pretty rainy out here. I think Ryan's arrived. This is the uh, view Friday. Our start time is in an hour and a half, roughly. And the lightning has stopped. So that's good. That's the only good part. Here we go. <laughs> it's dark in here because it's so rainy. <laughs> Look at that. What time is it? Ragnar time. Here's our van. Get a load of this van number two. That's a bed. And a little fridge and a sink. How many gallons tank does this uh Don't sink know yet. Have? It, it We're gonna find out. It's a gas mileage on this beast. We don't know that yet either. We we'll find out. <laughs> Alright, the squad is all here. Yeah! It's very exciting. 15 minutes to spare. 15 minutes to spare. We're all very nervous. This is the first exchange. We don't know what's gonna happen here. Alex is getting ready. Oh God. All right, Honestly, quick interview. Like what are your thoughts right now? I'm really nervous that I'm gonna fall. <laughs> like, no, don't do that. Fall. Don't do that. Uh, I'm excited. How far are you gonna run? 4.7. Okay. I double checked. Good luck. <laughs> All right, we're here with Ryan McDonald, who ran the very first leg of our Ragnar. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, how did it feel? Oh, great. Nice, uh, chill morning, a little sprinkly. We kept sprinkly. the temperature down. What's, uh, what do you remember the most from the run? Uh, it's a big giant hill at mile two coming up to Mississippi River Boulevard from the river. Yeah. It was incline of about 75%. That sounds terrible. You had to, it was actually, you had to rock climb, <laughs> to harness and everything. Yep. Leading up to this to this race, a lot of people have been talking about how you're kind of wrapped up in a little bit of a jet ski cover-up. Do you feel like that's something that's really uh, invigorated you in your training or is it something that's kind of held you back? Yeah, no, I tend to run from my problems. <laughs> so that was really uh, helpful for my training. I just imagine jet skis flying into little chicken wire fences. <laughs> Me covered worked. up. There she is! There she is! How's the podcast? <laughs> Safety first. This is Peter Nelson breaking. Starting up this Ragnar right. Woo! All right, we're here, getting ready for the exchange. Nate, what's on your mind? Just trying to achieve my dreams. Let's do it. Let's achieve our dreams here at John A. Johnson Elementary School. I can't think of a better place. It's pretty fun. All right, Alex, uh, how far did you just run? 4.7. How'd it go? It went great, as well, fast as I've gone so far, even in my training, so I was really excited. What was the best part of the run? Uh, going by the capital was really cool, and having some random guy ask me how far I'm running, I was really fun. What'd you tell him? <laughs> that's not right. Well, we're, that's where we're going to. Uh, great work. How'd you like those hills? I hated them. That was unexpected. Yeah. Didn't like it. yeah. Very good work. Okay. Kurt here, dressed, ready to run. A lot of people, uh, a lot of people wear a little less clothing. Kurt, what's your strategy with the semi-formal attire? It's cold out there. Are you kidding me? Temps have dropped about 30 degrees in the last week, and uh, I trained for hot weather and a lot of sweat, so that's what I'm gonna run in. All right, pre-race thoughts. What do you got? <laughs> Pretty good. It's good. This is good. <laughs> Nate, you've just broken the land speed record. Um, how did it go? Tell us about your, your run. 
Huh. Well, I killed three people. <laughs> that's so good. That's a kill. Yeah, for the audience, can that's you explain you, a kill? That's when you pass another runner. Okay. And you still it's, say, good job, and they say, good job to you, and you keep running. And it's not something bad. It's not a physical harm. Then you, uh, it was like a complete drop at the beginning. And you have the clip. I, the clip. <laughs> I, I flew for the first time in my life. <laughs> and that was fun. Was the parachute t tough to get out of? I had to go quick. <laughs> I had to go real fast. But this is the first time I was running at 6.30 at one point. I'm like, okay, you're going way fast. <laughs> <laughs> so then I was like, oh shit. Easy, Tiger. What uh, what do you think your swim coach would, would say to you right now if he saw you running not fully shaved? He would say, <laughs> wow, you are not fat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you want. No. Good work. Here we go. Here we go, Will. Yeah! Woo! Yeah, <gasps> nice job, Will. Give me it. You got this. Hey, Beautiful. Go. How'd it go? Uh, it was good. It was good. I ran really quick, and I don't think I'll get that pace again. But uh, it was uh, it was good. I feel good. Do you think that your brother could have ever ran that faster? Uh, which brother? Any of them. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's like, I should clarify. Yes and no. Okay. All right. We are about a half mile in to uh, my 3.8 mile run. Let's see how this goes. Mile down. First mile is about 740 pace. Way too fast. I am going to be falling back soon. Second mile down, 730-ish pace. Still too fast, but we'll see what I got. I got a mile to go. Still holding pace. I'm falling back. I got big hills. This is hard. On the way to exchange uh, number six, we're gonna have to get there kind of early because van one running too fast, which what the hell's up with that? Well. Bring up, we'll slow him down for sure. We'll slow him down. Yeah, we got a lot to live up to. Uh, yeah, don't, don't worry. We're gonna about to bring the average uh, pace down considerably. Yeah! Yeah! Woo! You're over halfway! You're over halfway! Yeah! Yeah! Really? Yeah! yeah. yeah. Go, Sam! Go, Sam! Go, Sam! Go, Sam. Go, Sam. Yeah, Sam. I'm pretty tired. You can get another kill, this is great! We're about to make uh, the first exchange to van number two. Uh, we got Sam coming. The crowd, the entire crowd, as soon as she turned the bend, went absolutely bonkers. Run right by him. Let's go, Sam! Why are they turning? We got Kurtz on deck, ready to go. Sam! 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 Watch your step! Watch your step! Not a girl, TRC running for him. Oh no! Oh no! He needs to work on that hand off, you guys. You're burning valuable seconds. And off he goes. Now we got to get in the van and, and haul ass and catch up to him because he is going. Wow, he is not stopping. Tell us about your run. How'd it go? It was wet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was awesome. I was by myself on a state trail. That's cool. I passed one woman, which felt awesome, and then a dude passed me like a half mile left, so that was nice. There's a lot of chatter about you just being super pretty. Do you find that distracting, yeah, or do you find know. that energizing? They're really sick though. All right. We got uh, exchange number seven here. Oh, damn. Kurt is coming in hot, and he made good time. Uh, I actually don't know what time he made. Um, so we got John ready to go. John, look for the blue signs and do what they say. Kurt, there we go, Kurt! 
Good handoff. Wow. Hand All, right. All right, let's get going. <laughs> Kurt, hey, how was it? Thanks. How was oh, it? My ankle hurts. It was great though. Yeah? Yeah. You think it's gonna hold up? Uh it's gonna not slow down my pace, let's put it that way. Okay. Bar but my, I That's the only thing that matters. Right my question. Yeah. Are you going full gold man at the uh, wedding reception tonight? I only have one speed, bruh. <laughs> Exchange number eight. We got Dan on deck. You ready? Look at him. He's super ready. And uh, it's good to see you guys again. Tough, tough to see. Uh... Here he comes. Here we go, Matt. I go straight back in the woods. Yep. Get get in this thing. Slap it. Woo! There you go! Awesome. Great there you go, Dan! Great job. Great job. You're the man. Great work, John. Great work, John. That's a far ass run. John, how do you feel? Pretty good. That's a long run. Tried to keep a little bit in the tank for tomorrow, yep. slash this morning, but wasn't too bad. Wait, was that that was like an 8.6 or something like uh, that? Yeah, longer one. So that's that's a casual, that's like a stroll in the park. <laughs> Uh, that normal, is normal Tuesday. Yeah, morning. not a short run, but hey, we got this. Nice. Thanks. We got uh, exchange nine. Matt getting in position. We got uh, diaper Dan, the hot dog man. Home stretch here. He's blazing. He's, it looks like he's coming in about three minutes ahead of pace. So, on a two and a half mile route, that's pretty good. Jeremy, what do you think? Oh, I think Dan's doing great. He was really worried about his calf injury, but he's clearly pushing through any sort of pain. Look at that. Uh, just absolutely crushing his first run of the, of the week. Home stretch! Way to be, Dan! 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 I think I get, in, I get in big trouble if I try to go over there, so I'm gonna stay right here. Oh, what a handoff, what a handoff! Yeah, nice, Dang. clean, clean. Nice Good work. Dan. No, I think hey, I'm how bad. do you feel? Good, good. How'd the calf do? Calf held up. You looked great. I got, uh, you look relaxed. I got killed, but I just focused on you, my pace. You, uh, yep. I think you came in three minutes ahead of schedule, so oh. you crushed it. Beautiful. Yeah, that must have been like 9.30 pace, something like that. That's really solid. I think you did great. You looked great finishing. I wanted to stop, but I saw the one mile marker. Yeah. And figured I should probably just. What, what's your message for all the uh, kids back home that are watching right now? Uh, I never thought I could do this, and I just did. Uh huh. 2.6 miles. There just, it is. Just work hard, and you know, things will happen. Yeah. All right. Change number 10, Jeremy in the block. How are you feeling? Feeling fantastic. Yep. Woo! Way to finish strong. Oh no! No! Go Jeremy. Well, Ted, you had two jobs. Yeah, Jeremy. Get going. Dude, Jeremy looks so. What was he talking about? I know. Jeremy's faster look than that guy form. that just took off. Look at his form. Off. Yeah, elbows, look at that. Elbows are back. There's no flare. There's no flare in the bow. How'd it go? How are you feeling? I feel all right. Uh, I need to forget that I just did that though. Oh. What, what does that mean? For the benefit of the next run. Oh yes, yes. I need to get into a mindset. Short though. memory. That, that I've just been relaxing all day. Yeah. But it, it went well. Well, we are going to get to go and relax. Maybe polish off a burrito. And then uh, hit it again. Your next route, your next leg is easier, right? So you'll be, be easier. Yeah. It'll be nighttime. Yep. Um, 
The first three miles were beautiful. Uh huh. And it was less busy of a road. And then after that. And then you got Peyton Manning Avenue over there. Yeah. That's a killer. Yeah. So we have are leaving uh, Ryan's mom's house. We're packing up the car, getting ready, seeing some people's legs come through uh, on text messages and on Strava. They're crushing it. Very excited for what comes next. Pete, how are you feeling? <laughs> I've never felt more average. Don't do anything new on race day. Exactly. It's true. Same Absolutely. The guy who just had his first cup of coffee. First cup of coffee ever. It was a what? It was a medium latte. Yeah, with coconut. Milk coconut and coffee. Milk. Who would have thought? It was bad. Uh, oh, the exchange. Yeah. I like this one. I have bad memories because I finished here last year, and I remember I just walked over and passed out basically. Good. Um, this but, year I'm feeling a lot better. It's about 30 degrees cooler. It's cloudy. There's a nice breeze. I feel really, really average. Jeremy and I got this down. Okay. Oh, All right. Good. <laughs> I'm good excited. Weekend. Yeah, that was, uh, it was, it was fine. You guys recovered. Jeremy saved me. It did, it lurched in the direction that he had to go anyway, so he was able to build momentum while picking it up. If anything, you might have saved him time. Good. Because, you know, he had to get down in the runner's lunge anyway. Sure. Woo! Let's go, guys. Let's go, Peter. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Pete. Way to do it. Jeremy. Woo! Live. How are you feeling? Oh, terrible. That was hard. Really good job. I'd say last like mile and a half or so. Yeah. My leg just felt like jelly. Oh man. I kept saying to myself like it's a little further. Yeah. We're the finished. Glad to be done. Yeah. No that doubt. That was very hard. Yeah. Shortly after that, I was uh -oh. like, ooh, <laughs> this is longer than I'm used to. How you doing, man? Yeah. Great. I feel good. Tell I tell you what, these kids, these kids, they uh, they love to work hard. They work harder than just about any other team out there. And uh, when uh, push comes to shove down the line, that's uh, that's what's going to pay off in the end. Yeah. Next question. What was the hardest part it. of the run? Uh, probably the beginning because the road was slanted off to the side, so yeah. I kept I was like falling that, over. That last like two miles, I had to run on like yeah. three degree angle like this. So. But then like the last three miles was on a trail. It was beautiful. How was crossing the bridge? That was cool. It was, it was all uphill and then it was all downhill. <laughs> Mostly both of them. What do you say to the naysayers who say that shirtless is not the way to go? Do it. Makes you feel comfortable, man. Shirt, no shirt. Uh, I'm all about to uh, do what the, what the route makes you feel. Absolutely. Alright, we're to the point now where we need to be wearing vests, I think. We've reached 7.30 and it's very exciting. This, uh, this checkpoint's pretty cool. You can see there's a lot of people, there's some food over there. And we're waiting on Ryan. Ryan is running an unsupported leg, so he could be anywhere. You are in a position of strength right now. Uh, you've just finished your, your 10 mile run. What was your favorite part? Uh, that finish. The finish right was very yeah. good. And right before I started. <laughs> all, the, all the other parts are not so good. It's a, it's a power move having the longest leg run so far. <laughs> I have bragging rights for about another you know 45 minutes yeah. till Nate runs. Well, Nate, and Nate has to finish. Oh yeah, which he might he have hasn't done. That's another hour and a half. Yeah, yeah, you have you have time. So I yeah, got a you, lot of time to soak in this <laughs> most miles. <laughs> yeah. You've earned it. Good run. Thanks. I finished until I got to a pace of 8:15. Then at six went to 8:30, and then at eight went to 8:45, and then basically held. Great work. That's it's getting harder and harder to see things, weirdly enough. <laughs> it's odd. Alex! 
Alex! Alex! Okay, go, That's Alex. for sure her body. What <laughs> <laughs> if it's not? It'd be embarrassing that you said it. Oh, that thing is oversized. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about your run. It was amazing. How fast did you go? I went 9.59 miles, which is the fastest I've gone. That's super good. Uh, and oh, then... <laughs> I can see my stuff. Um, and then I got to watch the sunset and I saw two deer. That's very it cool. It was awesome. It felt great, very flat. You look good. Yeah. Yeah. There, there's, <laughs> there's some people out there who say that <laughs> you have like a <laughs> wide <laughs> gate. <laughs> 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 I was the best. And some people say that you have a big vest. Everyone needs to watch me run in the morning. That's how I feel about it. We have stuff. We have Gatorade. Do you want Gatorade? Oh, no, oh. Got it, got it. Go, go, go. This is exciting. Oh, oh, runners. 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 There's runners. Oh, 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 yeah, Nate. Woo. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> we got Nate here. He's our Ragnar uh, legger. He's, a, he's the legger of the Ragnar. Without saying any numbers, describe how fast you ran that. Good. Uh, it was the fastest I've ever run, which was great. Um, it was great. It was a fun run. It was pretty flat, which is, makes everything nice. Um, there was no shoulder, which was wonderful. Gumby passed me a million times, <laughs> uh, but I still ran uh, pretty fast. Uh, but it was fun. Yeah, it was really fun. I've never run at night before, so that was great. Yeah, you killed it. You were awesome. Nice. All right, about a half mile in. All the way out too fast. Here we go. Mile down. See if we grab a couple kills here. Gotta watch that pace, gotta watch that heart rate. Uh, two miles down. It's dark. It's actually very pleasant. Gotta keep an eye on my heart rate, chilling around 175. That's kind of where I wanna be for this race, for this leg. See you soon. I'm just finishing up my third mile here. I was able to grab actually four more kills there. Bringing my total, I think, to six. Things are going well. Keep an eye on my heart rate, still at 175. Four miles down. I was able to get one kill on that one. I think that's my total seven. I had to stop and tie my shoe, which is kind of annoying. But we're cruising along. Like, just under five to go. Finishing up mile five. I was able to grab three more kills. I was also killed for the first time in Ragnar history, but that person had like a two inch inseam. That's just a different league. And that dude had, he deserved it. Good win for him. Coming up on the end of mile six, grabbed another kill. I got killed no times. I think my total is at 11 now. I'm like 6.6 .6 miles into my run. Really, really feeling. Uh, my first leg. That first leg was way too fast and I'm feeling it now. I'm up to 12 total kills. Things are going all right, but I think this last last couple miles is gonna be a real struggle for me. All right, one mile left. I was able to grab a few more kills. Total's 15 now. Let's see if I can hold on. All right, I was able to get one more kill. Got a half mile left. I really gotta dig here. I'm really struggling right now. Where's my guy right here? There he is, that's Will! Woo! Thank you. Hi. I ran almost nine miles and it was really hard. I got killed. I killed lots. Uh, my calves hurt. I ran at night and that was really cool. Um, it's been going great. Talk to you soon. Here you go, Sam. Yeah, Will! <laughs> Will's coming, Will's coming. Yeah, Will. Yeah, Will! Yes! Well, yes! Well, yes. Me, Here we go, let's go, Sam. Go get him. Let's go, Sam. Go. Yeah. How'd it go? How's it going? 
When did you know that you were going to finish? Uh, <laughs> Well, I saw you guys and I was just like, okay, I could finish. Without yeah. using numbers, describe how fast you ran. Oh, I mean, I think I was beating all the cars here. So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's really good. Thank you. Yeah, that's her! Look at that cake! There she is! She's got a blinky vest like you! She's got a blinky vest like you! Yeah, Sam! Woo! Let's go! Let's go! Yes, Sam! Woo! Woo! What were you feeling going into your run and why did we upset you so much? I was very angry because everyone got to eat in the van and I had to just drink water. I didn't get to eat in the van. I was running. Well, before you were eating, you <laughs> wanted true. snacks. Yeah, that's and true. I couldn't have snacks. I'm sorry. And it was late. But tell me about the run. How'd it go? Well, I was angry and then I started and I was like, okay, this is going pretty well. I'm getting pretty far and I look at my watch and I was 0.4 miles in. <laughs> so then I got more angry. <laughs> I didn't really see anybody, and then uh, at like three miles in, a guy passed me, which made me feel better because I could watch his vest, and then I passed a couple people, and then at the end I sprinted so I could pass three people. Yeah, you killed like four people at the end, it was yeah, awesome. and then I was tired. Yeah, very good work, and then Thank we got you. some sleep. Standing here at uh, exchange number 19. We got Dan coming in hot soon. John, how you feeling? Awesome. You got your big one here, 9.9. .9. We're gonna round it up to 10 for you. Thanks. First time I made that joke. It's a good one, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. They're loving it. They're myself. loving it. What's your strategy for this upcoming leg? I'm just splitting it into segments. I'm thinking like two five mile segments. Okay. And like, I'm gonna do good on the first one. And if I don't do as great on the second one, uh, maybe my first part will make up for it. So it's like a divide and conquer sort of strategy. Exactly. Did you come up with this yourself or is this something that you got uh, like from a training manual? Not exactly, but like doing a bunch uh -huh. of these 10 miles, it always seems like for me, it's a story of two different halves. Either I come out uh -huh. way too slow, but then I have a lot of energy for the second half or I come out really hot and then I'm just gassed by the second half. A lot of your fans like to think of you as a 10 mile specialist. You, you run the, the TC 10 mile like every year, right? Yeah. How is that gonna affect your performance in this particular 10 mile event? Uh, I think it's gonna give me a good perspective on just how long 10 miles is because in my experience, it's just always longer than you think it's gonna be. So I just get out there and just enjoy running, you know? Yeah. Just have a good time doing it. That's what it's all about. I don't know how clear it is, but there's uh, pulsing red lights out in the distance. That's Dan, the man, Israel, clutching his, uh, his longest leg, about five miles. And uh, I think he gained us over his pace estimate. I'm looking at my watch, it's 2.15. I think he was supposed to come in at like 2.18 or 220 based on where we were. So I think he might've saved us a couple of minutes here. Strong showing. Here we go, Dan, let's go! If... Go, Dan! All right, go buddy, go buddy! Bye guys. You got this, John. We'll see you in like three miles or something. If we can. Killed it. Steady. Yeah, you did great. Dan, a word. Didn't, didn't stop. Didn't stop. <laughs> Steady. Let's uh let's walk and talk. Finished. What the a, a little indigestion. Yep. A little groin pain. What do you want to say to all your fans at home? Uh this is for you. I love you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so that was uh, that was your big leg. Are you satisfied with the uh, the effort you put out there? Uh, I'm very surprised. <laughs> very yeah. proud of myself. I didn't stop. Uh -huh. I maintained a good pace. And um... I was looking at my watch. I think you saved us a couple minutes over your uh, pace estimate. Uh, I'm just trying to do my part for the team. Yeah. 
Oh, I think you did. And now you, uh, you can enjoy some well-earned rest. Got uh, Kurt here getting pumped, getting primed. Locked and loaded. Get your arms loosey goosey. That's the most important. He's got no elbows to show. Uh, so we lost John's location about 15 minutes ago. We think he's getting here real soon. Um, we don't know. So this is adding, this is kind of like how Ragnar was back in the Stone Age before uh, geolocation sharing privileges before everyone had the smartest computer in their pocket. You ready to go, Kurt? Woo! We all need to take a page from Kurt's stretching. There are, there are 506 muscles in the human body and he has stretched 507 of yeah, them. Yeah, he's... he's like, thank you. His, his, his toes are limber. Look at this. Are you seeing this? Kurt, is this the secret to your speed? It can't hurt. It can't hurt. It looks like it might hurt. Actually, it's different. I love it. Nice job, John. Let's go, Kurt! Yeah, go, Kurt! John firing in hot, making the handoff. Kurt's off. Ooh, playing a little frogger with his life. Gets across, no problem. Green light. Green means go. Give us, give us uh, thanks. Wow, it was already over there. Hey, great run, John. the boonies. We lost your location about half an hour ago. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it was just way out in the abyss. But. Uh, hey, I got eight kills. Uh, eight kills? Uh-huh. I only got killed five times. Okay. That's a positive ratio. Yeah, it's, it's what I was hoping for. So, what, uh, what's the highlight of that run? Everyone going both ways was super supportive. There uh -huh. was a couple that passed me and, you know, seemed to be running together. But that actually kind of lifted my spirits i was like all right we all got this together right know? we saw them finish just a little bit ahead of you oh, yeah perfectly in sync sure I well that's your big one done that is my big you're one. pretty much done i think you only got you got like a three mile or something in the end it should be cakewalk yeah or two and a half maybe yeah yeah this was the one i was eyeing for sure and uh you feel good about the performance yeah, I mean, as I said, like, it feels uh, longer than it is. Uh -huh. I think at about seven, I thought, oh, I must be, I must be close. I must be about a mile out. So that was maybe the low light, but uh, then, you know, you start seeing the lights of Hinkley. And, oh yeah. And you know, you're close. We're getting a little glimpse into how the sausage is made. <laughs> we got Matt's uh, stretch routine. We just got about a 20 minute nap in and then ha having some caffeine here to get uh -huh. ready to go. It's 4.53 in the morning. And we're expecting Kurt in here at about 4.56. Yeah. Um, so we should see him come in just about any time, depending on how much he trucks it at the end. Feeling limber after that stretch? Yeah, I feel all right. <sighs> we'll have to do a side-by-side -side comparison of your stretch routine with Kurt's. <laughs> People can yeah, take, he puts me to shame. Take a sample. Well, he said it hurts. Okay. Well, this doesn't hurt. <laughs> we got Matt right over there in the exchange. Coming in hot. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, dude. Get that smack X. Or is it grab it? I don't know. Yes! Nice work, guys! How was that? Holy shit. That was an out of body experience. Did you do it? I, I haven't seen the time or anything. Okay. Okay. Oh. I decided to go nuts okay. uh, on, uh, after six. 
Uh huh. Oh, six man. is good. Yeah, six is good. <laughs> so right around the first mile, my ankle started to hurt like a son of a gun. And I took that personally. Uh huh. The rest is history. How's it feeling now? Great. Better? Like a million bucks. Yes. Uh huh. I might never be That's able to walk again. But natural endorphins. Yeah. Well, it'll all be worth it in the end. You got one more leg to run. Maybe, what? Maybe two. Wild card. All right. I'm not sure. Or about not. It. Yeah. 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 Got this, Ryan. Let's go, Ryan. Yeah, baby. Peter. Do it, man. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, Peter. Yeah, Peter. Oh no. Oh no. Ryan, get grab. All right. Here, here, we've got Ryan coming. Here he is. He's, he's over there in the gold. Stop your run! Stop your run! <laughs> We're here with Ryan, who's now finished his last run. Uh, tell me how fast you ran it without giving me any numbers. Uh, I wanted my heart rate to uh, reach quadruple digits. That might be considered a number. <laughs> I think it's safe to say I made it past 200. That's also a number. Awesome work, though. I don't even care. Oh, uh, what was your favorite part of that run? Uh, uh, I've biked that route like a hundred times and it was cool to see all the same stuff and garbage and everything. That's cool. Out from my childhood. That's a, that's a really, really, like it looked like a gorgeous trail. Yeah. It's my best run as the last run of the day, or weekend. Last run, best run, let's go. Yeah, there! We knew it all along! We knew it all along, it's Alex! It looks like a oh, damn man. Yes! Alex! Alex! All right, Alex, you finished your last I did. leg. How did yes. it go? Uh, it went great. I feel really good. I ran the same pace as my first leg, so that, that feels really good. That's and, really good. Uh, I killed eight people. You killed the most eight people. That's I've awesome. Yeah. Uh, does that have anything to do with the fact that you're on the hunger trail? Yes, 100%. I was very hungry, uh, <laughs> hoping Will kills more as he continues on the trail. Wonderful. Um, yeah, it was great. I loved it. Great work. Yeah, can't wait for next year. We got Will coming in here, coming in hot. Here he comes, way out there. We're going to Nate next. Yeah, Will! Here we go, here we go, here we go! Great finish, Will! You better appreciate that point one! <laughs> here you go, Nate, nice work! Hi, Will, hey. tell us about your run. Uh, it was pretty good. I got tired, my, my thighs hurt real bad. But otherwise, it, uh, I felt fast. Um, you were on the hunger trail as well? Yeah. Uh, what was your favorite part about that? The, uh, my favorite part was the hunger uh, and mostly the trail part. How many people did you kill? Uh, like three maybe? That's very good. Yeah. Great work. I'm ready for you, Nate. I think you said you're just going to keep going. Tell me about your run. Well, you know, I, uh, first of all, I want to give credit to uh, Coach Ragnar uh, and his team. Uh, they really came to play yeah. tonight, and they gave us a great game. Uh, you know, uh, came out really strong in the first half. Uh, we faced uh, we faced a lot of adversity there in the third quarter. Yeah, I didn't know if we'd be able to uh, overcome that. Uh, we were getting caught by uh, Team Ragnar, but you know, just we found it, found a rhythm in the in the fourth quarter, and really were able to bring it home. All right. Final leg, 9.1 miles, and a half mile in so far. Uh, go out easy is the name of the game here. I haven't done that the last two. That's the name of the game. Just finishing up one mile here. Pace was 839. 
right where I want to be. I see three or four people in front of me. Might be able to grab them for kills. Uh, otherwise, I think the, the main focus here is making sure I got something at the end. Finishing up mile two here. Grabbed, a, grabbed three kills here. Got it. Going yeah, through right. some people. There's a fourth kill. Uh, still staying conservative. Uh, I think, I think. We'll see how it goes. Fifth kill. Finishing up mile three. I did get killed once, but my total kills for this one so far is up to five. It's going great. Three and a half miles. I got the cheer section here, baby. The cheer section here. And uh, during the cheer section there, I was able to grab another kill. I'm up to six. Uh, 4.2 miles in. Just grabbed a seventh kill. We're cruising, baby. Halfway point. I'm at about seven kills, I think. One death. 170 beats per minute. Things are floating along just fine. We got some band support coming. We got some band support coming. Look at them! Get it down! Yeah! Alright. 5.4 miles in. I was able to grab one more kill. Uh, my heart rate's up a little bit, but I got like four people I could reel in front of me. So we're gonna see what what I'm feeling here. Able hey, to get another kill. Up to nine. Six point nine miles in. Grab my 10th kill here. Seven and a half in, another kill. It's 11 in, I think. One mile to go. I've been killed again. Two kills on this leg, or two deaths on this leg. 11 kills. Probably about a half a mile left. Legs are very tired. Looking forward to sitting soon. I can see the finish line, I got killed one more time. Bring my 11 kills, three deaths. All right, I did end up getting one more kill at the end. I got killed at the end. I think I talked about that. And I almost got killed again, but I think I held her off. I will end with 13 kills and three deaths. Don't tell me the numbers, but how fast did you go? Without telling me numbers. Oh, uh, decent. You went decent, thanks. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, it was cloudy, like 65, misty. Oh, misty. You have <laughs> had precipitation on all every, your legs. Every leg I had precipitation. That's interesting. How do you feel about that? Since it wasn't very much, it was good. It's great. My run ran fine. I like, um, I had a couple people pass me right in the beginning because there was a bunch of people that started the same time as me, so that didn't feel the best. But then after that, I had a few kills, which was fun. But the worst part was at the end of my race, when I had barely any, I had like point one left, a car ran in front. Yes. And I thought it was gonna kill me, but I wanted to keep running. And so it was like fast, slow, fast, slow, fast, slow. And the car did the same thing. And then the car thought they had the right away and it was very annoying. That's pretty and I annoying. I was really pissed, but yeah. it was good. You did a great job. That was my last run. And that was enough. JB about to go out. Got his watch on, slightly charged, what? ready to go. Yep. What do you got, like 14% on that? Yeah. Yeah. Something. You'll be fine. 22. 22, not bad. And we're uh, we're hoping we got Dan way down there coming. You got a strategy for this last leg? What are you looking for? You got, I'm like, gonna push it a little bit more. I mean, we'll see what my legs actually got in them. You got a, you got a, a goal here, right? It's like two and a half, right? Yeah. So sub sub twenty minutes. Yeah. 
I would say around 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Within a minute of that one way or another. Yeah. I feel good about it. Um, I'm not sure exactly how hilly this is. It's probably about as hilly as any I've done. The, we, we're getting oh, into sure. more Mondo Hills. Yeah. This is uh, Duluth for sure. Yeah. I just hope that enough of them are downhill. You're done. I didn't stop. You're done. You didn't stop. I didn't stop. Those hills. And I gave it a little extra. You see this hill right here? That's I, no joke. I gave it a little extra towards the end. I yeah. saw Buckeye in my sights and yeah. had to send him off for the On last site. one. This, I mean, this hill's no joke. I this, was very slow, but I did not stop. No, no, no. Did not stop, that's the key. We saw the effort at the end. The, the, your fans at home are gonna appreciate that. That's, I think and I think you gained a few new ones. <laughs> uh, Pre-game interview here, you're about to go out, so you're running 33 and 34 back to back. It's like nine miles or something, that's a lot. Yeah. How are you feeling? 1.3, I feel terrible. Yeah. Um, but I felt terrible last time and it went great. So uh -huh. I'm assuming you, it's the same thing as you have. You got a strategy? That's my strategy. To I've feel learned, terrible? I've learned the, uh, the uh, template for success, uh -huh. the blueprint, if you will. And uh, we're gonna just ride it again. So a lot, of, a lot of people at home have been murmuring that you're switching something up in your approach this time, which is that uh, that nasal breathing strip. Yeah, I can't breathe. Uh, so maybe it, a little bit helps. And running is, I think some people re refer to it as an aerobic activity, which, you know, it's good, good to have oxygen yeah, for. Yeah, oxygen's good. Yeah. So I'll try to do a little less mouth breathing this time around, but no guarantees. Uh -huh. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Can, can you breathe right now? I can kind of breathe, but I have to think about it, which isn't ideal. It'd be huh. nice if it was just natural. Uh -huh. uh, but if all goes well, I might just keep going. I might just skip. Just finish out, finish out the last yeah. couple legs for us. We'll see. <laughs> I mean, it's only it'd only be another nine. We got JB approaching, Kurt on deck, ready to go. He's firing in hot. Oh my. I've never seen a human run this fast. He's a literal blur. Nice exchange. Thank you. How's that feel? Pretty good? You're done. I'm done. It feels great to be done. You can do a few more if you want though. I'm not really feeling it. I appreciate the offer. I, uh, Did you hit your, hit your time? What were you looking at? I mean, I I couldn't have been much closer to 20 on the dot. On the dot? That's fast. It's not, it's not bad for the miles I've run this weekend. Yeah. And plus, you're more of a distance specialist, so <laughs> reeling it into a, a mere two and a half, that's, uh, I mean, obviously you adapt and overcome, but that's not really what you train for, right? Right. And... Something to be said. Yeah. And I would just say that that stretch was about as hilly as it could have been yeah. for as short as it was. How was it uh, crossing 35? Uh, not bad. I mean, it sucked getting up to 35, but uh -huh. there wasn't a lot of traffic coming on or off the freeway. So you didn't have to merge? <laughs> All right, we got... Uh... Hello? We're basically at the end of 33. Um, Kurt is coming in hot, finishing up 33. Uh, no. um, he will be handing off to Kurt, who is I mean, we can planning out. to run 34. Just about to approach. Um, so I think, I think technically, I don't know exactly where the exchange is supposed to be, but because uh, this is like a choose your own adventure yeah. exchange, but. I think he's got maybe like another four miles to go. I think he's done like four. Maybe he's got another four, something like that. Oh no, he's got nine. He's got nine total. Nine. Look at this guy. Hey, Look Kurt! at this guy. Do it, Kurt. Your own personal exchange. You're crushing it. You're running like a young deer. Hand it off to Kurt. Keep it up. Keep it up. Got to keep going. And you can Kurt switch. You need here. Gatorade. Yeah. <laughs> you got Gatorade, you need go. anything? Gatorade? I'm no. not good. All right, keep yeah. going, Kurt, keep going. Oh, Man, this young deer. 
prancing like a majestic buck. We got live footage. We just seen a murder take place. Skirt has slaughtered this innocent woman. Look, she's crippled. Yeah, Kurt! Way to go, Kurt! Yeah, Kurt! Four miles to go! Ish, I don't know. All right, now we're nearing the actual unofficial official exchange number 30. So four. anywhere in here, you can do the exchange. You got a Kurt. Do up one more hill. You got a Kurt. You got more hills. Yeah. Gotta get this exchange on camera. There it is. There it is. And he's off. Oof. And now I gotta run four miles soon, so that was dumb. Gearing up for your final leg here, leg uh, 35. Leg 35. Um, this is a, a really uh, up and down one with some views and uh, a lot of hills. Some pretty gnarly uphills, but some payoffs. Uh, what's your game plan? Yeah, I think I'm going to try to take it easy at the beginning. Uh, I'm starting up with an uphill. Um, but I think overall it's more downhill than uphill. So I think if yep. I can take it easy on the uphills and then coast on the downhills, um, I think I uh, could surprise myself with a nice showing. Uh -huh. What do you got? Uh, you've had a couple couple serious legs. What do you got left in the tank here? You know, uh, we're gonna see. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna leave anything in the tank at the end. Hopefully, mm -hmm. so want to finish strong. I uh, feel like I've strategized well and. Uh, the energy is there. It's uh, palpable. I feel it. Yeah. Between you and me right now. I feel like I feel like we're getting close and it's gonna be really exciting to finish. So Look, looking forward for that luce. Yeah, it'll be good to have some pizza at the end and to see uh, band one and uh, to all celebrate this accomplishment together. I feel like I'm not even gonna recognize those guys. It's been so long. You know, we barely barely saw them at all. What's it been like? Well, they they have Five. we haven't seen them, but they've been the invisible heroes. They have really rocked it. And every time we hear about another leg that they do in like 20 minutes under goal time, <laughs> it's just crazy. So yeah, it, we're, just, it, we're just hanging on, and they are carrying us. It's a question of how much time they saved us, not did they save us? Right. They're making yeah. all the yeah, deposits, yeah, yeah. and then we're making the withdrawals. But yeah. that's fine. <laughs> We got a glimpse of the golden man on the horizon. Kurt finishing his heroic nine plus mile final double leg. With two broken ankles. With two broken ankles. That's a slight exaggeration. Not at all. That's a sl I'm saying that's a slight. Yeah. Like this much. This is like that Lancelot scene from Monty Python Holy Grail <laughs> movie. <laughs> it's just there. Every time I look up, I feel like Let's he's back where he started. Woo! Yeah, so Kurt! Where did he go? Heroic! Where did he go? Yeah. Woo! You're done! You dead, man? You've got a bug on your leg. I don't know if you like it. It jumped to the other leg. I hated that! Want to do it again? That was the hardest thing I've ever done. I never yeah. want to run again. You don't have to. Can somebody figure out how to turn my phone on and shut off my Strava? Sure. It might be uh, music you, is you, playing, you, but your it phone just... died. I, I had you at like five percent battery. It probably yeah. just turned stuff off. Music is still playing. Well, wait, wait, does it need your face? We'll get, we'll get like, you to the van. We'll get it plugged I can, I, in. The music Don't never know. dies. So how what do you I mean? feel? Uh, I feel really bad. Uh huh. You look good. Thank you. Could you breathe? I can breathe. Uh huh. Um, I'm sure this wasn't the case, but it felt like that entire thing was literally uphill. There's a lot of hills. I was climbing Mount, Mount Everest, and it was right into the wind. Uh -huh. And my body was bad going into it. I didn't think it was that bad, but it, was, it looks pretty good right now. Uh, thank you. Um, you're true. You, you, pull, you pulled off two legs. <sighs> you want to just relax on the ground with the camera in your face for a while? I do. <laughs> I can lay here right, for a minute. Finish strong, baby. There we go, man. Here we go, Matt. Woo, 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 woo. Keep going. Get that hand off. All right, Peter, bring Perfect. Us home, Peter. Yes. Bring us home. Woo. Go, Pete. You got it. How did you enjoy that? Well, that was a pretty crazy like because it had 
the most yeah, just like downhill. Down, 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 down. And then you do like this long, steep downhill. And then you turn the corner. And it's a medium, steep uphill to the finish line. Not great. So that was hard. Yeah, that would but have been brutal. A good closer, lots of great scenery. Yeah, you gotta love it. You really pretty. It. You Way to go. It. You made great I don't want to do another one. You made great time. I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Yes! Boys, yes! yes! Jerry, you're gonna run across the finish line. Uh, yes! 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 Yes!